Is a flurry of activity at the Ohio State House this afternoon as the plan to reform Cleveland schools makes its way through the legislature. News Channel 5's Chris Flanagan has been following this story and joins us now with the latest. Chris, it looks like Mayor Jackson will get his school reform bill passed. Yeah, Lee, it appears that way after both the House and Senate bills pass this afternoon. Now, tomorrow, the Senate is expected to vote on the House bill, which is the one that will actually go to the governor for his signature. Now, support was not unanimous. Some lawmakers saying they don't like the idea that other school districts did not get a chance to weigh in. Others say they oppose sharing tax levy money with charter schools. But in the end, the legislation passed. Now, we caught up with Cleveland Schools CEO Eric Gordon on his way to Columbus late this afternoon. He's heading there to thank the legislature. Well, I'm so grateful to our lawmakers, both the Republicans and Democrats uh, in the House, for passing the legislation that's really going to enable us to do dramatically different work in Cleveland and really accelerate the pace of change that the mayor and I have been talking with the community about over the last year. So uh, I'm just so grateful. And part of the plan calls for a tax levy in November. Gordon says he will make his recommendation about the amount to the school board at its July meeting. Right now, News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is talking with Mayor Frank Jackson about this major step for local schools. Look for more from him tonight on News Channel 5 at 6 and at Newsnet5.com. I'm Chris Flanagan, News Channel 5.